Welcome back to American Latino TV. I'm Natasha Martinez. Up next, we have one of television's newest emerging stars, actor Sidel Threat Jr. The talented performer wasn't always pursuing acting, though. Back in college, he was a promising quarterback for Lehigh University. And if you're thinking his name sounds familiar, you're right. He's the son of former NBA baller Sidel Threat Sr. So Jr.'s definitely got athletics in his genes, but Jr. would ultimately find his own path in acting after falling short of making it in the NFL. Well, after seeing him in his breakout role in Roots on the History Channel, not joining the NFL ended up being a smart move. Here to tell us why his career is the one to watch is Sedale himself. Check it out here on American Latino TV. You must always honor your ancestors. The ones who love you and watch over you. Roots was my first uh, major, major project outside of school. Uh, I graduated 2015 from USC. After that, I got a job working up, uh, doing a play at the Ebony Repertory Theater. And, you know, through my manager, through, you know, word of mouth, through whatever, I just end up getting the audition to actually for the role of Kunta Kente. And I did it, didn't get it. But I remember the casting director, Vicki Thomas, great woman, solid, great woman. She was like, I'll see you again. And I literally told her, yes, she will. Forward, march! From now on, we don't fight for English, we fight for ourselves. I was in the, as I mentioned before, the Ebony Repertory Theater. One of the, the director of the Ebony Repertory Theater, his wife is actually a descendant from Alex Haley, who the story, who Roots, was literally written by. Knowing that I get to be a part of that history, a part of that change, you know, I, I, I'm so blessed, so blessed. Never would have thought that from where I came from. Never would have thought that. I will name you Kizzy. Behold, the only thing greater than you. My mom calls me a natural ham. You know, this is the, the whole my whole life. Uh, I was actually on stage a bit before football and basketball really kind of took over my life. Um, I used to step dance uh, for about six years professionally, and I also used, uh, used to tap dance. So I was always sort of just on stage. So it was kind of always with me, but after I decided that sports was uh, sports was reaching a point and I thought that I, I knew a level of it where I was content with and of course you can always aspire you know to you know be great be win championships um, I felt there was a level but I felt that there was something else that I needed to um, need to extract from myself and need to show so I ended up going back to Lee University's where I got my undergrad degree um, outside of Philadelphia in Bethlehem and I, I took a scholarship there. I ended up taking my three credit tax accounting course and the other nine credits, I ended up taking um, all the theater that I never could take trying to balance sports and academia because you know it's just, it's just very hard to do to do that, let alone try to act. But you know I was I was I was you know three years, four years out, outside of um, graduation and I just wanted to finish up my degree I was three credits short and I ended up going back and literally, the best decision of my life, and I really mean that, the best decision of my life. A name is who you is. My daddy took weapons night and day to protect his name. Speak to me, Lord. Speak to me, Lord. Your name is your spirit. Your name is your shield. 